That's enough creativity. I'd say it's sufficiently creative. Do one more round after this. But. <laughs> there it is. That's a ring ready to get machined. Okay, so now we're just machining it. I'm just gonna cut the faces. So we're making this ring for my buddy Rob. Rob is one of the first people to ever believe in me as a blacksmith. One day in college at Slippery Rock University, I had a weekend off and uh, my buddy Andy came down with his coal forge. We decided we were gonna make something. This was about 10 years ago now. And it was the start of a partnership that we still have today. We didn't have any raw materials though, so we went to the local hardware store, which my buddy Rob owned. And we found him and asked him if he had any old files or old saw blades or old lawnmower blades in the back. We said anything that was made of good steel that we could turn into something. Just something to keep us out of trouble. We didn't have any money, we couldn't afford to buy anything new, so we explained that to him and we were real excited about what we were gonna be doing. And he walked over to the shelf he took a lawnmower blade off the shelf, ripped the price tag off it. He basically stole it, but he owned the place. He handed it to us and said, if it keeps you out of trouble, that's great. And that was the beginning of a partnership that Andy and I have maintained for over 10 years now. And uh, Rob, Rob earned a ring. It's finally my time to give it back to him. He, he doesn't know it's coming, but his health's not as good as it used to be. And his wife tells me that he's been really following our rings and always wanted one so we're making one for him this one's for you Rob I hope you like it you've definitely earned it oh that's a good solder joint cool it off there Nice. 